Hey friends, it's science expert Mel here taking another little break from homework to do a science experiment. Now you know I love doing science experiments that you can do at home with stuff you already have. So let's go grab a few things that are probably already in your cupboards and let's do something fun. we just need a few toothpicks, some cocoa powder, a spoon, and a cup of water. So if I were to take a spoonful of cocoa powder and dip it in the water, what do you think will happen? Take a second, think about it, and now let's see. So I've got here my spoonful of cocoa powder. Now I'm gonna dip it in the water. We can see that the cocoa powder really isn't going anywhere and it kind of looks pretty solid in there. Let's lift it up. So we see it's got this shiny film. Let's take our toothpick and see what happens when we poke it. Now, the reason why this happens is because cocoa powder is hydrophobic. But what does that mean? So what does it mean to be hydrophobic? Well, hydrophobic means to repel water. It literally means a fear of water. So hydrophobic materials and surfaces are usually nonpolar, and the hydrophobic effect comes into play when all those nonpolar molecules are clumped together. So that's why we saw it with the cocoa powder that was all clumped together. And so cocoa powder is hydrophobic. We also see hydrophobic effects with bugs. So if you've ever seen water stridlers and they just lay on the surface of the water, their legs are actually hydrophobic. And so that's why they're able to stay on top of the water, whereas other bugs don't really get that privilege. They kind of sink. And so that's a little experiment showing you what hydrophobic means. And I think it's really cool to see, especially when you poke the top and then the powder reveals itself as still a powder. So I think that's super cool because it's not something that we see often. When we put a spoonful of salt in water, it all dissolves. So we can see that salt is not hydrophobic. So definitely play around with this, maybe put it in a cup of milk, or see what happens when you take hot milk and see if that makes hot chocolate or if we get the hydrophobic effect as well. And so think about why or why not that might happen. Hopefully you all enjoyed this. I can't wait for another experiment with you all. Have a great day.